Hello, my name is Ivan. I will briefly talk about Rabix Composer, which is another product from the Rabix suite. And Composer is an open source IDE for CWL app development. So with the Composer, uh, we wanted to take the code of CWL, which, is can, which can be very cumbersome to write. It can contain tens of thousands of code. And we wanted to bring it to a graphical editor, which works as an ID on your local development machine. So um, the thing is that when you are running CWL, CWL apps in production and you're running it on a large data set, you usually do it in the cloud. And when you have the app in production, you want to tweak some parameters, you enter the cycle in which you basically edit and make the app in production. So we wanted to, to, to prevent that and um, we figured that it would, be, it would be a lot better if you would do that on your local machine and test in your local machine and see how it runs and then when you're done uh, and when you're satisfied with, with results, then you would just push it into production. Um, so with the editor, we are focusing on local development and that enables us to practically um, enable you to, you to reference CWL files uh, amongst themselves when you're developing workflows and tools and, and you can obviously uh, work on multiple applications at the same time uh, and, and switch between tabs in the editor. So you can edit two workflows, for example, if you include one in another and you can see the, the, the changes right away. So um, one part of the, of the composer is um, command line tool editor. And the tool editor is basically a large form uh, in which you enter the data that, that your um, tool needs. So it consists of a document overview in which you can see your inputs, base command, um, Docker image, outputs, hints, and whatever you need in order to, to, to describe your application. Whenever you select any of those items, you can open it in detail view in something that we call object inspector. And there you can tweak um, detailed parameters and, and data. Um, we have a command line preview, so you can easily see how your whole um, command line tool will be generated into the, into the actual command line command. It is color coded, so you can see uh, which ones represent inputs, which ones represent outputs, what are the arguments. We have validation, so if you miss something we tell you right away that your app is invalid and, you, and that you might not be able to run it properly. We have test data editor. So you can basically um, test the command line with, with your own data and uh, tweak the parameters and see how it will behave when you, when you run it. Uh, one part of the, of the CWL are expressions and you need, to wait, you need a way to edit expressions which are mostly JavaScript. So we have a way for you to type your expressions and see how they evaluate in real time and browse through the, through the job variables and um, your basically runtime context. And obviously for, for everybody that wants to use code, we have a code editor in which you can tweak all the details of CWL if you know what you're doing, basically. Another big part of the Composer is the Workflow Editor, which is a graphical rep representation. Of, it is the graph representation, actually. Um, so it consists of connected nodes, which you can drag around and tweak them, and move them around, insert new ones. You can delete uh, existing nodes. You can create inputs and outputs easily. Um, each node, depending on what it is, if it's, if it's a, a step or, a put or an input or an output, it has its own inspector in which you can see its inputs, uh, the app info, the underlying app that's, that represents the node, and um, its, its step parameters. Inputs and outputs also have their own inspector in which you can see their own details. Um, often needed thing with uh, workflow editors is the undo and redo functionality. So basically whatever you do on the graph, you can undo and redo those actions so you don't lose data if you, if you mess up something. Everything is safe. You can open your 
local files or remote files and drag them into the workflow. So that way you can compose your workflows easily and just connect them with the mouse. And those workflows that you make, you can export them as SVG, which is um, often requested for marketing purposes. And uh, one of the important things is integration with Seven Bridges platform instances, which you don't have to use, but in case you use either Seven Bridges platform or Cancer Genomics Cloud or Kavatica, which is a pediatric cloud, you can connect to them, use public apps, use your own apps. Uh, there are over 250 public apps available for, for, for use. Uh, you can publish your local apps to the cloud and uh, you can combine your remote apps with your local apps and embed them and run them in the cloud. Next up, what we're working with um, is integra integrating Rabbix executor that my colleague uh, talked about right now. So you will be able to run your um, local workflows right away on your machine in the IDE. So you don't have to run them on the cloud. You can see the, the, the result right away. And uh, we hope that we, during the next few days, we are going to release something that we will call a release candidate. At the moment, we are in the phase of public beta, which you can all download uh, from our GitHub page, which you can find by searching for Rabbix Composer. Um, Maya will take over. Thank you.